Hey guys, today we are going to make these magnetic partner bracelets. They have a cute little magnet on each side and so when you get close to your loved one with the other bracelet they connect together. I made these ones here with the other sliding knot bracelet that we've got with the two sliding knots but the magnet there can only slide between the two knots there so that's why I wanted to make a different type of bracelet so that the magnet can slide right around. So I've got two jump rings and a magnetic clasp here, which is a 10 millimeter by 15 millimeter. And you can see it just pops open there with the little magnet inside. And our jump rings are seven millimeter jump rings. So to start off with, we just measure out 50 centimeters of our paracord and just cutting it there and then singeing the end with a lighter. Just singeing that, make sure it doesn't fray. And then we're going to pop our jump rings onto the magnetic clasp. So just with jump rings, grabbing our little pliers there, you always open it sideways. So if you can just see there, I'm grabbing it with two pliers and then just gently sideways, never opening them up like a mouth opens. So just opening them and then popping the magnetic clasp on and then closing it up the same way. So I like to use stainless steel jump rings, they're just the strongest. So again with the second one, just opening it up sideways, popping the magnetic clasp on, and then closing it up to join it. So there's our two sides of the magnetic clasp there. Then we can move on to the bracelet part of this design. So starting off by threading your magnetic clasp onto the paracord through the jump ring. Then we can just lay our paracord down on the table in a U shape. Then starting on the right hand side just putting a little simple knot here. So down and around and up the hole. And then we're going to do this on the other side as well. So down and around and up the hole. We want to have our tails be about the same length. These parts here are going to be our parts that we pull on the bracelet to tighten it back up again. So you want them to be about the same length. And when you're happy with the knots and sort of where they are, we just turn the tails towards each other. So turning and then pointing towards each other. And then we just poke each tail down inside the other knot. So just poking this one down inside this knot and this one inside this knot. Then we just gently pull our knots tight. And then just pulling them on all the different directions, making sure your knots are nice and tight. Now you should have a little sliding knot there. Don't pull it open too far yet though because you don't have knots yet on the end of your tails. But it should slide open and closed. And so when you've checked your knot and it's doing that, then we just pop a little knot on the end of each tail. So that you've got something to grab onto when you're pulling your knot tight. And also so it doesn't slip inside the bigger knot. So you should be able to open and close your bracelet now. It should open far enough to go over your wrist and then you can pull it tight with the little knots. So obviously because this is a set, so you're just going to make two identical bracelets. So just doing the same again with the U shape. Don't forget to pop your magnetic clasp on first. So a little knot on each side. Then pointing the tails towards each other and poking them inside the knot. Quite a simple design this one. Obviously because you're doing two the same you need another so it's just each bracelet is a 50 centimeter length of paracord and you only need one magnetic clasp for the set because you're only putting a half of it on each one. So after you've checked that all your knots are nice and tight and pulled them from each direction, you can just go ahead and pop a knot on each end of your tails. 
and then you can test your bracelet out and make sure your sliding knots are working okay. And then you should have a set of magnetic partner bracelets.